sides of the ball kind of snowballed a little bit and guys started having some issues with emotions and things like that. What did you guys talk about at halftime? It seemed like the offense at least came out and, and functioned a little bit better early in the second half. Uh, what was that like? How did you guys regroup from the first half? Well, at halftime, Coach Thompson just talked to us about playing the next play, and the only play that matters is the next play. So we can't have one play that's going to make up the, you know, the difference in the game, but one play after the next play after the next play, and slowly but surely we'll be able to, you know, cut into the lead and just keep climbing. So I think we just had a one-play mentality coming out of half, and that helped us. Curious about um, when Tate Rodemaker came into the game. What did you see from him as far as composure in the moment? Did he settle in as the the drives built? Just what did you kind of see from him there? I was just impressed with his overall demeanor and uh, the way he handled the situation because uh, being a true freshman out of high school, that's not an easy situation to be thrown into. And the way that he approached it and the way that he conducted himself on the field, I was impressed. And uh, I'm excited for the future of Tate. I really am, genuinely am. How, I mean, how big of a factor do you think it was not having Coach Norvell there um, in terms of just, you know, guys, it seemed like guys were struggling with emotions and things like that as well. Well, I mean, Coach Norvell is our leader. So every time he's not here, it, it's significant, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that that's an excuse for, you know, uh, guys losing control of their emotions. But I think for the most part, guys handled their emotions pretty well on the sideline today. But Coach Norvell not being there, it's, it's, it's significant because he is our program's leader and he is like a good source of energy on the sideline and the way that he conducts himself. And you always feel like the situation is under control when Coach Norvell is there. So it was significant, but, you know, it wasn't insurmountable, though. We could have overcame it. You talked some about Tate, but a lot of other guys on, on offense, young guys, true freshmen, got in the game in the second half. I guess just what can you speak to about what you saw from the guys who got in at wide receiver from Lawrence and how invaluable do you think that experience can be kind of going forward if they need to step into bigger roles? Oh, man, I was talking about how impressed I was with Lawrence so Feely while I was on the sideline. Just the way that he he carries the ball and the way that he, he runs downhill and he makes people miss. I'm, I'm so excited about just the young group of guys that we have and along with Ja'Kai Douglas and Kentron and really all the young guys that got in and played today really showed a lot of upside and a lot of things that we can build on going into the future. So I'm excited about those guys. I'm excited to come to work tomorrow. And really, they, they did a good job with their first time getting experience today. They really did. All right, uh, last one going to Ira, or maybe not. Sorry about that. Um, in, in terms of uh, with the lift Jordan Travis was giving you guys in the first half, what what um, did you feel like that's something that gave you guys at least some spark and maybe something that could be useful? I know he, he got banged up in the game, but – uh, do you see that being useful going forward? Oh, absolutely. Jordan Travis has a unique skill set. Uh, the way that he's able to to make the chains move while he's on the field is definitely invaluable to our offense. So it's he's he's a valuable piece that we can use at any time in the game. So I'm excited about the future with him too, and and just the packages that he brings. And I feel like he's a very complete quarterback and whenever he gets his opportunity with the ball in his hands, he makes something shake. So I'm excited about the future with him too. All right. Thanks, Cam. Thank you guys. Thanks, Cam. That'll do it for player interview. Yeah, go ahead and bring it last.